Good morning, LG, and today is Thursday, February 15th, 2024. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and face the flag. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Friends, please remain standing for the LGN Pledge. One, two, three. I respect myself and others too. I am responsible in all I do. I stay safe each and every day because that is the LGN way. We are respectful. We are responsible. We are safe. Little school, big heart. Friends, it is Thursday. It's the day after Valentine's Day. And I, just, I have to say, yesterday, the, the building was full of love. There was a lot of um, Valentine's being shared and just good feelings. I got to visit a bunch of classrooms yesterday. I got some of my own Valentine's too. I got look at this really cool one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I just want pizza. <laughs> this is the perfect Valentine for me. Thank you to Bryson for that one. It's even a tattoo. I've got a Ninja Turtle tattoo. I might have to wear that this weekend. Uh, and I've heard that the day after Valentine's Day, if you go to like CVS or Target maybe, they have all that candy 50% off. So that's where I'm going to head today. See if I can find myself some candy. Hey friends, today is the last day to get fired up for reading. Hope you brought your scales in. We're going to complete that dragon in the hallway. I'm excited to see its completion. And uh, I'm just so proud of the work you've done over the last couple of weeks. Um, reading immense amounts of books and chapters and, and enjoying reading and getting fired up for reading. Uh, I've said it's something near and dear to my heart, and I just love when, when students find those books that they really enjoy, those series that they really enjoy, the genre that they really enjoy, and just get fired up for reading. So congratulations on a job well done there. I also want to let you know, uh, I have to apologize to Isla Cabral. She did um, let me know that yesterday I forgot to announce her half birthday because it happened on Tuesday on the snow day. So happy half birthday to Isla Cabral. And then today... February 15th, very happy birthday to Zania Hart and also to Charlotte Jakes and a happy half birthday to Rolanda Fayette. So don't forget to grab your birthday book at lunch and I hope you all celebrate in a fun way. On to our Black History Month uh, information for today. This is a great one. Another period in history that I really enjoy studying. Uh, I really enjoyed studying this, especially when I was in high school and college. I loved reading about the Civil War. If you know anything about the Civil War, or if you don't, this might be interesting to you. So this one says, on January 1st, 1863, so listen to that date. Eight, no, Mr. Higgs was not born then. 1863, black soldiers were officially allowed to participate in the Civil War after Lincoln, that's President Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation. On February 1st, 1863, Colonel T.W. Higginson, yes, I'm not making that up, it's right here in the history books. Those are my initials, T.W.H. Sounds like my name, doesn't it? Colonel T.W. Higginson, commander of the 1st Regiment, South Carolina Volunteers of the Union Army, stated no officer in the regiment now doubts that the key to the success of this war lies in the unlimited employment of black troops. So, approximately 186,000 black soldiers, including 94,000 former enslaved people, ultimately served in the Union Army. Unfortunately, 30,000 of them were killed in action during the Civil War. But without them, without these fine soldiers, the Union Army would not have won that war. That's a great picture right there. I love those uniforms, too. Look very, very cool uniforms. So there's our information for today. Happy Black History Month continues. And... Uh, Tomorrow is Friday. It's a half day of school and our latest tasty tidbits will be delivered. I'm excited for it. Hope you are too. All right, friends. Hope you have a wonderful Thursday. I will see you around school. Uh, don't forget, Mr. Higgins loves you. Bye.